G'day! In today's video, I've got a Microsoft Surface Laptop version 4 with the model number 1958, and I'm going to open this up and replace some thermal paste on here. Now, to begin with, you will have to take these feet off. As you see, the old user has gotten rid of the feet for me already on the rear. And I'm going to use a, I think this one's a T4 or T5 screwdriver to undo these screws on the bottom here. Because what we're going to do is take the feet off and then undo, take these feet covers off, take these four screws out, and then we can lift off the semi-magnetic keyboard from there. You have to be careful not to damage it. Or at least damage the flex cable on the keyboard when we get around to the, the top of it. And if I dig in this way, pop. And this way. So remember these feet only stick back one way, so I'll probably use a little bit of extra glue on there. To make sure they're happy to stay there. I have only taken out three of the four screws. This one here doesn't want to leave, or doesn't want to leave yet. So flip it over. Now yeah, we're leaving. So now I should be able to open this up. Hopefully it doesn't switch on by itself. And I should be able to pry this keyboard up just slightly. There we go. I fold it out of the way. One cable here. There we go. I'll put this out of the way now. The thermal pad. There's the SSD over there. And now, I'll continue what I'm doing. I'm going to take this off. Which is fairly stubborn. By fairly, I mean extremely. There we go. Oh no, don't mind me. Just lying to you. Okay, take that off. Also covers the RAM here. Now, I need a slightly smaller screwdriver. There we go. What have we got here? I have a T5. Yeah, one more up here. Either side of the fan. And one down here. Get that out of the way. I'll wiggle this slightly. Hoping I can get this to pry up. There we go. One more screw down here. Now, yeah, what have you got? A single fan attached. Undo that lever here. Pull this out. We are free. We have a very tiny amount of thermal paste there. So I'm going to put some isopropyl on here. Some isopropyl on there. Some tissue paper. And wipe. No. Now this is very stubborn thermal paste. That's what it was like getting it off the cooler. Getting off the chip's going to be a much bigger task, I think. Will dice with death and use my tweezers. There we 
ね。More of a drink. No, yeah, of ice IPA. Ice of purple alcohol. Righto. Now let's get some thermal paste happening. So I'm going to use some GD900. There's some cheap stuff I got from AliExpress. 30 gram pot was around about 8 bucks Australian. Fairly runny stuff, this stuff. Okay. Coverage is looking fine. Okay. And right, I'm gonna give this a quick blast with an air compressor. As I thought, no real dust came out of that. Very clean. Now let's line it up. Push it down. Now that's kind of gooped into position. Reconnect the fan. And I'll start simply by redoing the four screws on the APU. Um, Now, so now I've lost track. Let's start with the other screws that I've got. Come on. There we go. Nope. Hopefully I can avoid getting thermal paste everywhere else. Screw down here. Oh, we've got a pin to begin with. Dust clean, thermal paste replaced. Um, next up, keyboard. Click, fold that over, put it 
the shield back on. Line up, push. And then flip. Magnet should pull it into position. Oop. And we're wanting to turn on. Preferably not right now. Close. Flip. And we've got four screws to put back in. Cheers, computer. Cheers. All four of these should be the same type of screw. So there shouldn't be really any trick to it there at all. Biggest trick we'll be putting those feet back on. Uh, but we are nearly there. I'm going to use a dob of frame adhesive just to keep those feet on a little bit longer. It's really not that much there, it's not a real consistent bead of it. It's kind of smeared it around. It's just a matter of lining these feet up. It's like a tri shape. Hopefully, you get the tri shape in the right way. Yep, that one fitted. thinking about it. There we go. Done. So some thermal paste replaced on a Surface Laptop 4. Hope this helped you and see you later. Bye.